Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn what are HTML elements and what are HTML attributes. In our previous video, we have seen what are meta tags and also we have understood each and every tag here. Okay. Now we are going to understand what are HTML elements and also we will see some of the attributes used in HTML. Okay, now from here, I'm just going to remove this headings. You don't have to worry headings. We are going to study now instead of removing entire thing. I'm just going to remove this one and here I'll just write here HTML elements. I'll save this. Okay, now here in this tutorial, I'm not going to use live server because each and every step I want to show you instead of using live server. I'm just going to refresh the page and the output will be displayed to me. You can see HTML elements. Okay, now this is working completely fine. Now below this, let me just tell you now whatever I have written here. Okay, this H1. Okay, this is the opening tag. This is the opening tag. This entire thing and this is the closing tag. You can also call it as this is the start tag and this is the end tag. From here till here, we are going to call it as HTML element. Now here, now if I just show you here, now this is head tag. This is closing head tag. Now if I just tell this is the entire head element. Okay, this entire thing we have to include whatever content we are having inside that one. If we call this as a head element, but here if you just want to call, you will call it as head tag or this or you will call this as head closing tag. Okay, this is all about HTML elements. HTML elements are starting and ending tag and the content between them. Okay, this is called as HTML elements. Now we are also having empty HTML elements. Now here I'm just going to write this HR. Okay, now if you don't want, okay, if you are using VS Code Editor, if you just write here HR, enter, okay, you will be provided with this one. Okay, now this HR is not having any closing tag. Let me just save this one. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this. Here you can see here I'm having one horizontal line. So HR stands for horizontal rule. If we use this tag, it is going to provide one line. These are called as empty element em empty elements are nothing but the without any content, whatever elements we are going to define, whatever tags we are going to define. Those are called as empty elements. Okay, now for HR, you can see here I am not having any content. So this will be in the category of empty element. And in the same way, we are having one break. Okay, break. I'll be telling you, I'll just copy this one. Instead of writing here, I'll just write this one. I'll save this. Now this is going to add one break. Okay, you can see after HTML, I'm having one break entire space. And below this, I'm having this elements. This break tag is also an empty element. Okay, this HR is also an empty element. Empty element is nothing but the tags which are not having any content inside that. Okay, now here I'm just going to write one paragraph tag. Okay, paragraph tags also you don't have to worry. Now here I'll just write here lorem 10. Okay, this if you just write here lorem 10, it is going to provide you with 10 words. Okay, this is automatic generation of words lorem epsom. You can just write how many words you want. If I just write here lorem 100, you can see it will be providing me with 100 words. I'll just do control Z to come back. Now totally here I'm having 10 words. I'll just save this one. I'll come back. I'll refresh this. Now you can see here I'm having this paragraph output. Now if I just come here and if I just copy the same paragraph, if you want to copy the same paragraph, just click on shift alt and down arrow. Okay, the same paragraph will be copied. Okay, if you want to copy multiple times, you just have to click on that and that will be copied. Okay, you don't have to copy like that. You don't have to select entire thing and you don't have to copy. You just do shift alt and down arrow. Okay, now if I just don't give here closing tag, I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see again, I'm having this output Okay, without any error. I got this output. But the question is, is it important to use closing tags? Yes, definitely we have to use because sometimes it is going to generate error. Okay, so you always try to put closing tag and also starting tag and closing tag for those tags. We are having closing tag. You should always put that one. Okay, you should always make a habit of closing the tags. And also one more thing, okay, these HTML tags, whatever I have written here, they are not case sensitive. Okay, instead of this, if I just write here BR, okay, BR in capital letters, I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see again, I'm having the same output. Okay, there is no change in the output. And instead of this smaller H1, if I just write here capital H1, let me just write here H1. And here also, let me just write here H1. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see again, I'm having this output. Okay, there will not be any change in the output because these are not case sensitive, but mostly it is suggested that you have to use lower case letters. So I'm just going to do control Z. I'm just doing control Z because we have already seen about HTML versions. And in that we have learned about what is X HTML in that we are having some strict rules. We just have to follow that one. Okay. If you don't give then also no problem, but it is suggested that you should always use lowercase whenever you are using this tags. 
okay this is all about html elements okay this entire thing is called as html element this is the starting tag and this is the closing tag okay this entire thing is the closing tag and this entire thing is html element and the tags without any content these are called as empty elements okay now we are done with this one now to comment this one okay whatever i want to comment before that let me just tell here now here just open this one exclamatory mark double hyphen and here whatever comment you want you can just write that one html comments okay like this you have to write comments in html okay this entire thing if you want to comment entire lines just select this entire thing and control question mark once you give this one you can see entire lines will be commented okay so you don't have to type this one exclamatory hyphen hyphen you don't have to write comments and you have to close like that okay instead of writing instead of writing for each line you can just select the entire content for whom you want to make as a comment and you can just click on control question mark okay this will be commented now i'll save this now i'll just come here now here i'm just going to write html attributes now below this let me just write one h1 and inside this i'm just going to copy the same content and here i'm just going to paste that one and here i'll just write here html in capital letters now comments whatever i have written here that will not be printed inside my browser now i'm just going to refresh this you can see here only i am having html attributes that whatever i have written previously that entire thing is been commented out but if i just come here now if i just view page source you can see inside this all the comments will also be displayed okay this is how we are going to view page source whatever content i have written here okay front end whatever i have written that is visible to me okay just right click on this view page source you will be having entire thing and also comments will be displayed all meta tags whatever i am having inside the code that will be displayed okay html comes in front end technology so the entire code is visible if you are using back end technologies and if you do view page source you will not see any code for that okay i'm just going to close this now here i'm having html attributes now let's learn what are html attributes now here i'm just going to write the definition of that one okay you just write here paragraph now attributes are used to give additional information here i'm just going to write here to give additional info to give additional information for any html element and also whenever you are specifying attributes you should always specify attributes inside start tag okay whenever you are writing attributes you should always write inside start tag okay you should not write attributes inside the closing tag let me just select one simple attribute let me just write about title now here let me just write here h3 tag html okay now this full form i just want to show so inside this i'm just going to use this title attribute now title attribute is nothing but it is going to provide additional information whenever we hover on this particular word whenever i hover whatever i have written here that will be displayed to me now i'm just going to write the full form of that let me just write here hypertext markup language i'll save this i'll come here i'll refresh this one now here you can see here i am having this that, that is paragraph whatever i have printed and here i am having this html now whenever i hover on this you can see here i am having this whatever i have written inside the title hypertext markup language okay whenever i hover that particular data will be displayed to me okay this is called as title attribute it is nothing but it is just going to give me additional information of this particular data okay this is title attribute now here if you notice i have closed this one using double quotes okay can we use single quotes yes we can now here i'm just going to write single quote i'll save this i'll refresh this one now whenever i hover you can see again i'm getting the same output okay there will not be any change you can use either single quotes or double quotes but inside this suppose if you are having here double quotes if you are having uh, not double quotes if you are having single quotes here let me just come here see you can see i am getting this error okay because it is not understanding what i have to use okay where it is ending and where it is starting it is getting confused so whenever you are having single quote inside this one outside you have to use double quotes like this you have to use double quotes let me just write here i'll save this i'll come here i'll refresh this one now whenever i hover you can see for markup i am having single quotes okay in the same way if i am having here double quotes outside i have to use single quotes i'm just going to come here and here i'll be writing single quotes i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here i for markup i'll be having double quotes okay you should write like that now suppose if i don't give any quotes will it work let me just remove this one let me just remove and close this i'll save this now you can see only for hypertext i'm having this brown color and for markup and language i'm having this blue color let me just come here 
I'll refresh this. Now, whenever I hover, you can see only hypertext is been displayed. Okay, because only the first content, whatever I'm having, that is been displayed. Now, after space, it is not going to detect and that will not be printed. If you are having multiple data separated with space, then we have to close in single quotes or double quotes. Okay, let me just use here double quotes. Okay, you can either use single quotes or double quotes. Okay, I'll save this. This is all about title attribute, single quotes and double quotes. I'll refresh this. Now, you can see here I'm having this entire output. Okay, now next we are going to study about href attribute. Now, href attribute is nothing but it is going to define a hyperlink. Okay, they will specify whenever I click on particular link, they will specify in which link or in which page I have to be redirected. And href attribute is mostly used with anchor tags. Anchor tag, we will be writing like this with A. Inside this, we will be writing this href attribute. Now here, let me just write the same file name, index.html. Okay, this whatever file path I have specified, that is here. Okay, whatever I have created, I am just giving the same file path. Okay, whenever I give the same files, whatever is present inside my folder, then that is called as relative path. I am just giving here relative path. Okay, just to explain you. Now here, let me just write here, click me. I'll save this. Okay, instead of that, let me just create one file here. Let me just write here contact.html. Now inside this one, now inside this file, let me just write here contact page. And here I'll just write here h1, okay, h3. I'll be writing here contact me. I'll save this. Now instead of writing index.html, let me just write here contact. Okay, here I'll be telling you in much deeper way what is absolute path and what is relative path. But whatever I have given here, that is relative path. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having this click me. Now if you notice for anchor tags, I am having this underline and by default it is in dark blue color. Now whenever I click on this, you can see I am redirected to contact.html in the same page, in the same tab. And here I'm having contact me. Okay, whatever content I'm having inside contact.html that is being displayed to me because I'm just telling that whenever I click on this, I should be redirected to this page. Whenever we click on that particular link, it is going to redirect it to that particular page or particular link. Okay, now instead of this, if I just give here www.google.com, I'll save this. I'll just come back. Now I'll just refresh this one. Okay, now whatever path I have given here, this is not relative path because it is not related to any files and folders here. Okay, it is called as absolute path. And um, I'll just save this one. I'll refresh this. Now, whenever I click on this button, you can see I am redirected to www.google.com. Okay, here I'm not having any output, but here you can see I'm redirected to www.google.com. I'll just come back. Okay, now here I'm just going to search for flowers. Let me just write here flowers and inside this, let me just copy one link. Okay, let me just copy this entire link, whatever I am having. I'll just copy this one. And here, instead of this, I'm just going to paste that link. Okay, this link is very large. Uh, I should have not taken that one. No problem. I'll refresh this one. I'll close this tab. Now, when I click on this, you can see it will be redirected to that particular page from wherever I have copied the link. Okay, so these are called as absolute path. Okay, you can give any links, but you are not supposed to give such a long link. Just for explanation, I have given you, you can give any link. You can either give absolute paths or you can give relative paths. I will be telling you the difference between that one later. Okay, now this is about href attribute. Now, next we are going to study width and height attributes. Okay, before that we have to understand what are image tag. Now, here I'm just going to write image tag. Now, image tag does not have any closing tag. Now, image tag will be having two attributes. First is source attribute, which will be giving the source. Now, here as of now, I'm not having any image. Okay, I have just copied one image and I have pasted here. Now, here I'm just going to write that one. And here I'll be writing this cartoon.jpg. Okay, images, you don't have to worry. We are going to study about images. Okay, let's understand about this source. Okay, now this source attribute, in this we are going to give the path of the image. I'll just come here. I'll just come back. See, now you can see here I'm having this entire image. Okay, this image has been displayed. Now for this image, if I just want to give width, we can use this width attribute. Now inside this, let me just write here 200. I just want to give 200 pixel. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see it is taking only 200 pixel. Now I'm just going to give height. Height, let me just give here 400 pixel. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the image is been squeezed. Whenever you're giving width and height for the image, give any one attribute, either width or either height. Don't give both or else your image will be squeezed. I'm just going to remove this. I'll save this. 
and now if i refresh this one you can see height it is taking and here i'm having this perfect image my image is not been squeezed okay this is all about source attribute height attribute width attribute we have seen we are also having alt attribute inside this let me just write here cartoon image okay now this alt attribute okay let me just show here i'll refresh this now you can see that cartoon image is not displayed okay whatever text i have written here that is not been displayed now if i just change the path if i give here one 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 now this image is not present inside here i'll refresh this now you can see this cartoon image has been displayed okay this text entire text has been displayed it is going to help whenever it is taking time to load or whenever we are not having this one this alt text whatever we are having inside this attribute that will be displayed to the user so that user will understand okay this image should come in this place so that they will wait for the image to load or else they will just think this image is not present okay so it is always important to give alt attribute whenever you are using image okay next i'm just going to tell about style attribute now here let me just write here h1 okay now inside this let me just write some uh, text here lorem 10 now inside h1 i already told you attributes will always come in starting tag now here i'm just going to write style attribute now for this i'll be writing this color color let me just write here red i'll save this i'm just telling that whatever text i am having okay by default it is going to print in black color now here i have just given color to be red i'll come here i'll refresh this one now you can see entire h1 is been displayed in red color okay this is style attribute you have to write like this this is nothing but this is property and this is the value okay i just want color to be red so color and value we are separating using colon and we are just closing inside double quotes okay you have to write like that if you want to give multiple values here just separate using semicolon and for this i'm just going to increase the font size font size let me just give here 100 pixel i'll save this i'll come here i'll refresh this one now you can see the font size has been increased to 100 pixel okay this is how we are going to use style attributes we can give whatever styles we want but we are not going to use inline stylings okay this is called as inline stylings because inside html tags we are giving this stylings but for this we are having separate subject that is nothing but css using css only we are going to apply all the styles we are not going to mix css and html only one thing if you want to change then you can use inline stylings but it is not suggested at all okay now let me just remove this font size okay you just have to separate using semicolon and you can give any values you want okay and also i have to tell you about this language attribute now inside this i have not given this one but here whenever you are writing html tag we are just going to write this language language is equal to en which means that we are writing this in english language and also if you want to give any country code for us you can give like this okay you can give any country code which is going to tell in us code and this will be the english language okay this is also attribute language attribute okay these are attributes title attribute href attribute src attribute alt style okay these are also not case sensitive you can also write like this then also it is going to provide you the output i'll refresh this now whenever i hover on html you can see i'm having this hypertext markup language which means that these are also not case sensitive you can give either in smaller letters or either in capital letters okay for both you will be having the same output but as i told you it is suggested that we should always use lower case letters because we are having some strict regulations to be followed okay this is all about html elements and html attributes we are going to learn more about anchor tags images everything okay but as of now that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day